So in this Power World video guys, I bring you 20 plus secret items that you can easily miss as a new player at the start of this game. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, if you want to join my Power World community, go ahead and join my Discord link down below. Come along, join other players, talk about the game, share your powers, your levels and much much more. Again, my Discord is linked down below. Okay, so when you initially start Power World, um, there's plenty of things for you to do and find. But what I suggest you do guys is follow this video and come and locate all of these chests. It's about a 10 to 15 minute run probably a little bit longer but in doing so guys you'll get so many great items early on and these come in the form of the in-game currency which is gold you will find eggs which you can incubate and get powers from you'll find spheres which is this game's pokeball you'll also get all sorts of other materials which are very very useful for a new player so upon you creating your character uh, and as soon as you load in guys you'll come to the windswept hills this is basically where you start the game now from here guys what i suggest you do is you can see where i'm at on the map right here the plateau of beginnings what i suggest you do here guys is turn back on yourself now initially you'd run forward as i'm doing here this isn't where you want to go you want to turn back we're going to explore down here first guys and grab the loot you'll see me grab on screen now we will eventually go up to the first area and loot up there too there's many chests up there which you don't want to miss but we want to come down here first now here we have the first chest which is just hiding behind here 379 gold coins as well as some bread that you can eat now a lot of these chests are random and what i will say is There'll probably be an instance if you copy this where one or two chests may not spawn for you, uh, which is just the case. I mean, I've done this run now with four complete new characters, and I think I have all four. I think two or three chests weren't there for me, uh, but the rest were. So yes, there's no guarantee that everyone's going to be there for you. There's a good chance that they might be. So this next one, guys, here is located right there on your right hand side. You can see it hiding away down there. You can also hear, can you hear that chiming? That is this game's, what I'm calling it, the Shining Powers. Now you know Pokemon, you have those Shining Pokemon, which are bigger and better versions. This game offers the exact same thing, but in that power form. So here guys, you just want to jump down. You ain't going to take much damage, but hey. You can see it right here guys, you can hear it going off. That, that, that shine right there. Now if I weren't recording this video here, I'd take this dude out because they're bigger and better in every single way. And they also give you other vital materials uh, called ancient civilization parts. They are super important for end game gear. So now guys, we climb up here and we're just going to grab this egg. Now this egg will always be there, but it can be a different type of egg. It can be a, a large dark egg, it can be a rocky egg, it can be a... A, I don't know, it can be a, a damp egg, it could be many things. So from that one guys, we've got small pal souls. Those are used to upgrade your pals. We've got arrows and we've got more gold coins, which is pretty cool. Also guys, if you see something shining on the floor, it's that glimmer to it, make sure you pick it up. Okay, so from here, we're going to scale up these rocks in front of us and grab another egg. Now, when it comes to the eggs in this game, uh, you have to incubate them. This is something you'll do around level 10 maybe, no, yeah, so I think it's around level 10 you'll get the incubator but you do have to get a few more materials too, which if you're interested in I have made a video on the incubation of eggs and how you raise these pets and what you gotta do for them, which you'll find on my channel along with many many other uh, Power World videos. But yes guys, um, keep coming this way, do as I do, follow this path I take. There's this big old dude here guys, this little big old green, I don't know if he's like a, a furry turtle elephant. This guy you don't want to mess with straight away because he'll kick your ass. It's that dark cave in the corner there, that's actually a dungeon. Uh, I think in this world for me I think it requires like a level 13 because it's like a base level character I just created. I won't go anywhere near it. So I just want to follow the path around here guys. Um, and that's the thing about this, so I quit a new character. My stamina is a bit crap, so another tip as well, don't let your stamina go to the very bottom. Always stop running before you get to the very bottom, or stop climbing. Because obviously, if it hits the very bottom, it goes red and you have to wait a while for it to replen. 
So there guys we have a sphere. Again, this game's pokeable. Anything shining on the floor you want to grab. This thing right here guys is called the Lift Monk Effigy. This is used at the Statue of Power to improve your the ability. Uh, well, it's actually an ability you level up, which increases your chances of capturing the better powers, the bigger powers. The Statue of Power, I believe, unlocks when you're at level 6. You have to build your very own within your base, which is quite easy to do. Now, it's in the cut there, guys, because I actually went and exp well, looked at the, the dungeon. But just follow the path I'm going up this hill. Because uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to go and explore the first area. The very first area which um, initially we turned back from so come up this way I'll sped up the video just because you know yeah now people you can when I get there guys you can just pause the video and then copy me from when you actually catch up so we're so running up here like you saying bolt do what you gotta do and there we have it now we're at the very start of the game so when you come here guys you'll see right in front of you is a fast travel point so yes, go and activate this. That dude on my right by the campfire as well, when you speak to him, it just gives you like 10 pieces of wood, nothing special. So from here, you want to make your way as I do up here. There's another egg up here, guys. So you just might, might as well grab that while you're here. You may as well grab it while you're here. And this can be a little fiddly to get up. And I think I struggled. I can't remember actually. This is pre-recorded, by the way, people. I'm just uh, commentating over it because I, I made a few mistakes in where I was going, although I'd run this a couple of times I made a few mistakes in the route I was taking so I actually had to cut the video and go back just so it's a smooth run for anybody watching it so from here we want to jump back down and now I believe we're going to a waterfall area where there should be two things for you to collect now uh, on this actual playthrough, this is where one of the chests was missing which was there on my other three players that I did this route with but hey, there should be a gold chest here for you so keep going where I go guys, you'll see right here, there's a body of water, just down to my right here. And there should be a gold chest here. So on my right hand side we have, um, it's like a journal entry. And right here guys, there should be a gold chest for you. If there isn't, don't worry about it, just move along. But if there is, open it up and hopefully get some good. And now from here, I believe we go to further more chests. Uh, and you ain't got to worry about anything attacking you or nothing like this guys is in the starting area i mean in fact i do believe as well some of these chests will respawn after a certain amount of time because i know the materials like the trees you farm will respawn the rocks you farm will respawn the berries you farm will respawn and i'm pretty sure chests will too so you may even be able guys to run this multiple times if you need of certain materials if you need a gold you find a vendor who's selling something and you need that gold people you can do what you gotta do so here we have another gold chest so we've got even more gold there we've got more bird and we've got that small power soul so from here guys we're gonna grab another one of these effigies you can see it right there just next to that um that waterfall so let's run across this and grab this thing people grab it grab it again see something shiny you gotta pick that up you gotta pick that up okay so you can just jump in water you ain't gotta worry about this but i would recommend you having full stamina when you do jump in water yeah. so you want to jump across here and just grab this thing and there we have it now these are so e those effigies there they're so easy at night i mean if you just look into the distance you can see glowing green things everywhere they're definitely worth your time in collecting them they're very important when it comes to you uh, catching and taming those harder and stronger pals. So we're just going to follow this path around guys and now we're going to drop down to another chest. Just as I do right here. It's quite a drop, you don't want to jump all the way down. I don't think you'll die, but I know you do take full damage. It's not major full damage on this game, but you will take full damage. I think I fall from around here. And you'll see the full damage ain't too bad. You can see my stamina's quickly draining. So you can see the full damage is barely anything. So here we have another chest. There we go, 80 gold. We've got actually three uh, spheres there. That's where I cut the video there because I lost track of where I was. But we're going around this corner and there's another egg. Again, these eggs can be completely random for you. Here I got a common egg. Uh, it could be anything for you. 
from here as well guys i'll do another cut because there is another egg right just along here i believe and um, you follow this path around maybe actually yeah you climb up here then go around i actually missed this egg on two of my other characters i found it my mistake on this one so i'll cut the video back to come and grab it so you gotta do what you gotta do people you might as well get these while they're here might as well get these while they're here in fact was this one a no this one was a chest sorry that's what i missed i missed a chest um the egg is further run down i grabbed the egg on my other character but i missed his chest so yes just another extra an extra chest guys more loot for you as you follow this route so more bread a copper key and gold coins now the copper key you'll come across chests that glow red these require that key to open they have even better loot now you will find some of these in the um open world too as you progress past this first area i believe there is one near the start i did find it once uh, but i don't think it was there on my other character so yeah there's the egg i was talking about this one right here and this one is i think actually guys i may have hatched this already i think i did get a decent little pal from that okay so yeah that was another cut now we follow this path around and there's another egg around this corner so we go across this body of water right here and we go and locate another egg now like i said i have got a video in regards to the incubation of eggs and how it's all done i mean it's quite straightforward but there's a few things you have to unlock and uh do a few materials very uh, rare and important materials there's the egg there i almost missed it a rocky egg so yeah you'll find that video on my channel along with many many other power world videos and guys with many more to come as well so you can see right there guys that thing on my left was a fast travel as you know very important you unlock every one of those you find because that's what we like those fast travels save you a lot of time in regards to running around and until you get those mounts those grand mounts those flying mounts running around is long especially in an open world this big then we've got more spheres we've got another copper key and more of this game's currency which is pretty cool now guys we run across to grab this other effigy again just make sure that your stamina is full before you jump in that water so jump in and swim across again this was basically um the very start of a brand new character build actually made uh, for this video this loot run and i think i've actually stuck with this character i think he may be my highest level character now i'm not sure i can't remember so we're just going to come up this hill and then we're going to climb to the very top once we get to the top of this hill and i don't think there's anything at the top of this hill if i'm remembering correctly no there ain't so yes we just climb up here again make sure you got all your stamina let's climb up to this section here because again your stamina if you're unleveled will be pretty low so yes gotta make the most of it and there we go we are up top people now up here you will notice that there is a tree here um which we're gonna go up and grab in a second which will give you abilities you can apply to your powers upon you capturing them which is pretty cool now these are completely random too and all of my four characters these are completely different abilities they can apply to them this i think there's three or four you see them right here guys there you go they are uh skill fruits they're called that's what they're called but uh obviously you can see the ice earth and i think this one is water and also while you're here guys grab that effigy now you can see the egg across there we're gonna go and grab that but we'll make our way around first so follow this path i take on the screen now guys uh, we do i think we just follow this cliff around and then we go and locate it could be another do we jump down and grab another egg we may do actually now there's no doubt guys as well other areas in this in this area or other spots in this area where there will be more chests which i've missed so hey do what you gotta do and grab everything guys again some of the spots you may come to if you're following this video may not have a chest there for you the majority should be here then we have a large dark egg which actually guys as i commentate over this i believe that is incubating in my base so yes just climb up here guys and, and keep keep going up and come up here i think here 
is where I get a little bit confused but didn't cut the video because I end up going the right way. I can't remember coming here, looking over this edge and thinking, actually, have I gone the right way? And I'm like, did I go down there? And I turn back on myself and then we follow this route round to your left here. We look here and we go left. Yep, this is right. This is where you want to go because now we're going back to that cliff we not long climbed up to make our way back around to that egg we saw across the cliff from that tree. So that's where we go now, guys. So let's follow the path I take. Now I am zigging left and right because I get a little confused. This is a big area to try and cover, to try and remember. But again, do what you got to do. And pick up, pick up those things. You see that fly there? Corner of your screen. That's one of the first flyable mounts you can actually tame in the game. It's called a Nightwing. I've actually got one. It's pretty cool. And there's a guide to that on my channel too. I think now, guys, we do. Do we jump down here? Yes, we do, because there is that body of water we jumped across. There's also, I believe, an egg right there, which you do want to grab. So here, guys, you just want to jump down. See this body of water we jumped up and climbed up a, a different part of it. But it's still, I believe, the same body of water. Either or, we're still on the hunt for those chests, and there's still a couple more for you to collect following this route. So you want to grab this egg too. A damp egg and climb up here. So I believe we do climb up here again. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I mean, it's like it's 2 a.m. now. I've had early access to this, so I'm trying to prepare videos uh, for when this game's released. Um, so this game don't actually come out until the 19th. I'm currently recording this on the 16th, going into the 17th. So that's why I'm hoping this gets out there for people to follow this before they actually um, just try and crack on with the game. Because a lot of these materials will seriously help you out, guys. In the early uh, stage of the game, as you can see on the screen, we've just got like tutorial guides. You have to follow the tutorials and do what you got to do. So yeah, do all this before you even do that. It's definitely a massive benefit in my opinion. So I'm hoping you're still following the path I'm taking. And I do believe we come up here now to where that egg was across from. That tree with all those pal ability skills on them. There we can see that egg right there. So grab that. I'm going to return back on ourselves. And we follow the cliffside down to our left here. And I do believe there's a couple more chests for us to find down here too. Which is what we like. This is what we like. Now again, you're probably following my route and you've actually come across a chest which isn't there for me on my screen, but it is there for you. That is totally understandable. Again, like I said, it may be a case where you're following this and one of these gold chests are not here for you. But they're here for me. So now guys, we follow this route around here. And try not to fall down as I almost did. So keep going and keep coming around. Now what I will say is for a brand new game, I'm playing some PC early access by the way, I will be playing it on Xbox upon release, but it's just lag free, there's no frame rate drops or anything, I've not been disconnected once, I mean it's quite smooth to be honest, my PC ain't even the best, I mean I've only got like a 2080, no a 3080 graphics card in it, 3080 or 20, I can't even remember, I mean my PC is built for rendering, it ain't built for gaming on PC. I never really did it, but with Power World, it's running flawlessly. It really is. So this game's quite optimized. It's decently optimized, no doubt about it. So from here, guys, we're gonna grab, I believe, the last gold chest, which at the end of this uh, big open area. So just wanna run to the end, guys. And then from here, I just make my way back round to where we started the game, uh, which you can do if you want to, or you can just continue on to loot this area. Um, to you know get more loot it's completely up to you games open world is not it's not really story driven you're free to do what you want so yep set up base build a base learn the, the the basics of the game and enjoy your time playing power world again from this moment guys i make my way back round 
to where we initially started, uh, which you can follow if you want to, or you can do your own thing from this point. But there we have it, guys. This is the route. I do recommend you guys taking and basically taking advantage of get all these great materials, this currency, which I do believe again you can do this route over and over. Uh, to make as many materials and get as many materials as you would indeed like but there we have it guys come back up to that castle now is it was it a castle i'm not sure it was we'll come back up to that first area we explored uh, so again you can just basically start the game and just pump moment forward if you want to and do what you gotta do but there we have it guys if you did enjoy the video leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more power be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next video.